Hi everyone, welcome to Sleeping Tuesdays. Thanks for all the feedback that we had last week on our dental healing session. This week we're going to be discussing pericoronitis. Pericoronitis, I know it sounds like it's a big word, but it really isn't. It is simply the inflammation of your gums that overlie or cover a partially erupted tooth. So we all know what our wisdom teeth are. Our wisdom teeth or our third molars are the last set of teeth to erupt into the mouth. They usually come in at about the age of 17. From the ages of 17 to about 23 or even up to 25 in some people, our wisdom teeth or our third molars erupt into the mouth. Okay, so usually because it's the last set of teeth to come in, by the time that they come in, especially for people with small jaws or people with big teeth, by the time that these sets of teeth are coming in, all of the space in your jaw has unfortunately been taken up by its predecessors, the teeth that came in before the third molars. However, these third molars still have to erupt into the mouth. They grow in different awkward positions. Sometimes they could grow and be tilted towards the tooth in front of it, or it could be tilted backwards in different awkward positions. And they are usually partially covered or partially erupted, so not the full tooth is in the mouth. It's partially covered by gum and part of it is exposed. So what this creates is a, a pocket between the gum and the tooth surface where food particles can usually be trapped. And because it's all the way in the back, sometimes we're not able to clean it very well. So food gets trapped over time. And as we discussed last week, we all have bacteria in our mouth. So these bacteria come and feed on these food particles and end up causing an infection in the gum. And this is what would lead to the symptoms that you would experience when you have pericoronitis. Some of these symptoms are pain. That's the major one. People complain of extreme pain in the gums, swollen gums. There's pain, there's swelling, there's reddening of the gums. There's sometimes even bleeding because you bite on, on any time you bite, the opposing teeth kind of traumatize the gums that are swollen. So there's bleeding. Sometimes there's pus coming out of it because of the uh, infection going on. So it gives you a sour taste, a very um, uncomfortable taste in your mouth because of the pus. And sometimes there's halitosis, there's bad breath. Um, sometimes there's also pain that will radiate to the ear. You have a headache or you have pain in your ear or even pain in your throat. So sometimes this pericoronitis arises when you have other underlying conditions that are lowering your immunity. For example, when you have certain minor illnesses or you're taking some immunosuppressant drugs or you're stressed. A lot of the time when you're stressed, your immunity is a bit um, on the low side. So these infections are able to overcome your defenses and they cause you to be sick. One thing I realized was when I was working at Legon Hospital, a lot of the students, um, whenever I was time for exam or um, mid-semester test, a lot of them used to come into the clinic with pericoronitis because they are stressed, they are overworking their bodies, they are not getting enough sleep, so their immunity is a bit on the downside. So because they are in this age bracket where their wisdom teeth are erupting, they are very susceptible to pericoronitis. So a lot of them used to have this within the, those times of the year. If you realize you're having symptoms similar to what I've just narrated, it's very likely that you have pericoronitis. What do you do? First of all, you have to see your dentist. But assuming that it's on a Sunday, your dentist is closed, or it's in the middle of the night and you can't go to see a dentist, what do you do? The first thing that you should do is get a cup of warm water with a teaspoon of salt and then just gargle a little bit over there. That will help soothe the pain um, temporarily while you prepare to see your dentist. When you go to see your dentist, there are some options that will be available to you. Your dentist may either decide to trim the overgrown gum and put you on some medication, or he or she may also decide to take the whole tooth out, or may decide to just put you on medications and observe. These are some of the options that are available to you. Now, another reason why it's very important to treat this and not just take painkillers at home is that there are several complications that could arise if this um, infection is not treated. 
you could have a peritonsular abscess, you could have what we call a Ludwig's angina, which occurs when the infection spreads to other spaces in your jaw and it can be life threatening, which is why it's very important to always see your dentist when you have signs and symptoms of pericolonitis. Thank you very much. Please um, leave any comments that you have in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer them. And also comment what you'd like us to discuss next week. Thank you and have a great week. Bye.